guys! Today, we're gonna talk about something that happened to me in the States that I didn't talk about in the vlog, and that is when I lost my passport in LAX. And it is just as traumatizing as you think it would be. Losing a passport in a foreign country is probably one of the most terrifying things I have ever had to experience. I didn't talk about it in the vlogs because it deserved like an entire video just detailing the horrible, horrible anxiety that is losing your passport on the day that you get to the States. I had two more flights to get on, so it was terrifying. I don't want to gloss over the mistake I made. I was being an idiot. My flight got delayed in the Philippines. That means I missed my flight going to Philadelphia from LA. I had to rush to my replacement flight because Lord knows TSA takes a huge amount of time. So, you know, I rushed from one terminal to the next terminal. When I got to the next terminal and checked for my passport, it wasn't there because I did not put it in a safe place and I am not the most observant person in the world, so I lost it. Surprisingly, I did not cry because I knew that if I cried, nothing will happen. I will be just that sad person sitting in the middle of an airport, unable to get anywhere. And I had classes in a couple of days and I could not not be at the Arcadia University after all the time, the money, and the distance. I could not not get there. I was trying my best not to fall into a heap of anxiety. And even though my aunt lived in like the California area and I could just as easily contact her if I wanted to because, you know, American, air American airports have good Wi-Fi. <laughs> I still was uh, I was worried about how I'm going to get home and how I'm going to travel for the rest of my time there. So I went around, asked around. They told me that passports are usually like returned to Homeland Security and spoiler alert, it wasn't returned to Homeland Security. So I walked around for a good hour looking for my passport. I almost like dig through the trash, but I didn't do that because that seemed too desperate, which in hindsight, I should have dug through the, the trash just in case. But, but you know, when you lose your passport, you don't think straight. All you're thinking about is, I'm going to die a homeless man in the United States of America. <laughs> Even though like I probably, I would probably get deported at some point. After that, um, I managed to get to my next flight by the grace of luck. Honestly, I was insanely lucky that I even got through TSA with just a Filipino ID and my birth certificate. And I didn't know I had my birth certificate in my folder at the time. Like, the TSA agent asked me for my birth certificate and I didn't know, like, I was blanking out because I needed to get to the next flight to Dallas so I can get to Philadelphia. Then I was going through the folder because I was just sitting there waiting for a supervisor to check on my credentials. And then I found out that I had my birth certificate. So oh, naturally I was overjoyed. Then I gave it to the TSA agent like, oh here, I have my birth certificate, lucky me. And then the TSA agent, this bitch of a TSA agent was like, oh honey, youth is wasted on the young. And I was standing there ready to punch her. <laughs> like, bitch, you have no idea what kind of night I went through. I come from the Philippines, I just lost my fucking passport and visa. Shut the fuck up! I am not in the right mindset to know everything that I have in my person. But I didn't say that because I needed to get on the plane and I didn't want her to like detain me. After that, I kind of went through the whole week anxiety-ridden, wondering when I'll be able to go home or how I'm even going to go home. Obviously, I had to go to the Philippine Embassy to get home in time for my job. I was only able to get home because of sheer luck. I was fortunate enough to have the situation that I had when I went to the States. Even though nothing about this whole thing was premeditated, everything was just there and I was lucky enough for it to be there. My relatives lived like 30 minutes away from New York. The Philippines had an embassy there, so one. 
second of all, I had my birth certificate, which I recommend everyone to just bring their birth certificate everywhere they go if they travel because it will save your life. Trust me. And third, I had I had an, a Filipino ID. My psychometrician license was there, so I didn't have to have two like different kinds of IDs. I already had my birth certificate and I had my ID. That was the hard part done, like right away. And then lastly, I had passport photos in my bag. Like, I didn't bother cleaning up my laptop bag before I left, so those passport photos were just lying there, ready to use. And normally, when somebody loses their passport, they would have to go somewhere else and have their picture taken and all that. I didn't have to, so I recommend to also bring your passport photos because those are a lifesaver. The most stressful part about the whole thing was waiting for the their boss or something to get back from a UN meeting, which is insane to think that somebody is in a UN meeting and I would have to wait for them. And my flight was in four hours or so at that time, and the drive from New Jersey to Philadelphia took like an hour and a half. So I was pretty stressed out. And I was in New York, so I couldn't really appreciate being around New York City because I was struggling to keep myself together because my relatives didn't know that I lost my passport. Funny story, they thought I was gonna get married at the Philippine Embassy. And honestly, if I wish that were true, <laughs> I would much rather go behind my mom's back to get married to some imaginary guy in the United States instead of just losing my passport. I didn't want to give them another stressor of their nephew going into a panic attack in the middle of New York City. I tried my best to make this as comfortable as possible. I tried to buy them food, I tried to pay for their parking, but they were so nice about it. Like, I asked them not to tell my mom and they agreed and I was so touched by their compassion and understanding. Shout out to Tita Percy and Tita Boyet for not killing me and not getting mad. I'm very grateful for them. I'm very grateful that I was lucky enough to bring, to accidentally bring all of the requirements that I needed. So remember guys, when you're out there with your passport, best to hold it with your mouth whenever you're walking around because you will lose it. Put it somewhere safe, make sure you put it there and make sure it doesn't fall out accidentally because oh my god, I would never want any of my friends to go through that, ever. But, you know, just in case, if you're paranoid like me, and if you're unobservant like me, bring your birth certificate, bring an ID, bring passport photos, and just pray that you are nearby an embassy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was informative. Uh, hopefully it never happens again. Hopefully I'll get another video out soon. Most likely it'll be about writing, because grad school is great. It's kicking my ass, but it's great. So... Stick around, subscribe, because something will happen.